so I'm at the um, I'm at the London Python Code Dojo, and some people appear to have watched The Matrix, <laughs> and their code is what twenty four lines of Python to create that matrix effect. There we go. And so let's see who the culprits are. So uh, on my left we have Dan. Hi. Okay, and on my right is Tom. Hello. Tom. Okay, and um, can you tell me a little bit about how you actually got to the matrix rain thing that, that I've got on the screen here? Tom, maybe you can tell uh, me. This is an effect we call magic rain. Okay, for copyright reasons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, magic rain, got that. And uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll let Dan explain the details. Okay, so <laughs> we have a, an a array of uh, a list of um, five particles. Uh, one for each column, yeah, um, and we animate the whole display actually every frame. Uh, we're calling in a loop, an update method function that will um, move each particle downwards, yeah. Um, and if it goes off well off the bottom of the screen, it puts it like sort of randomly well above the top of the screen, yeah. Um, and then it will draw. Uh, the trail, well, the trail, yeah, uh, at decreasing brightness, but depending every, on how far away it is, yeah. Okay, I've got you, I've got you. And so, um, how long did it take you to code this up? Uh, half an hour, half an hour, right? Okay, mm -hmm. and um, so one of the things I imagine children doing with this is uh, is making games. Um, so, uh, Dan, uh, you have a particular connection with, with games and Python, don't you? What's your connection? Uh, well, I'm a two time world champion. <laughs> uh, world, world heavyweight games champion. Yeah. Um, and so um, given your expertise in, in, in writing games and indie games and all that sort of stuff, um, you know, what's your impression of this as a, as a game making device? It looks fun. So we, we sort of played with uh, the various ways of inputting uh, uh, you know, inputs into the device, yeah. the buttons and touching the pins. Yeah. Um, and you could uh, imagine extending this into a game where you, they, if the particles are moving much slower, you could maybe avoid the particles, like the, you yep. move left and right. It's a sort of Space Invaders type yeah. thing. Yeah, 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 cool. And um, and Tom, um, how much of the coding have you done or have you been sort of... I, I've been uh, shoulder surfing here. Okay. But um, we started off in the REPL and we found you could do a bit of interaction with the device to find uh, out about and the inputs and the outputs. And how did you find the REPL? It works really well. Cool. Um, you do run out of your up. You can only do so many lines yeah. backwards. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. It, but there's only 16K of yeah. RAM, so. You get an immediate <laughs> result, so it, it's, it's great. And you've got tab complete as well, so you can yeah. um, explore find out how a little bit. And then yeah. you'll end up putting something into the browser editor here Yeah. Uh, when you've got a longer program. Cool. So yeah, it works well. Fantastic. Well, guys, I've just got a close up on this again. Matrix Rain. That's awesome. I think it's made my evening. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>